Science on the Brain with Marshall Brain. Hello and welcome, I'm Marshall Brain and today's big science question is, how do you digest your food? Yes, your food, you know, that stuff you eat every day. For example, let's say you make yourself a yummy peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a glass of milk for lunch. What actually happens inside your body when you consume this peanut butter and jelly sandwich? You've probably seen a picture like this. It shows the digestive organs that are inside your abdomen. We all know that we have a stomach and the stomach hooks to the small intestines and the small intestine hooks to the large intestine. But it's really hard to understand what this all looks like. So let's use some common things like sponges and rope to look inside your abdomen. This looks like a big sponge, but we're gonna use it for a minute to represent the stomach. It's about the right size. So the stomach, we go right about here. And it connects to your mouth with a pipe that we call the throat. So when you eat, it goes down the pipe into your stomach. It gets processed in the stomach for a while, and then it goes into this. We're going to use this rope to represent the small intestine. It's all coiled around down in your abdomen here. One end of it connects into your stomach. The other end of it, about 20 feet away, connects into this bigger pipe, which is called the large intestine. And it loops around inside your abdomen. One end hooked to the small intestine, the other end coming out the rear, and yes, that's where the poop comes out. A quick science vocabulary lesson. We're using the word poop, but a real scientist would usually use feces or stool to talk about poop. Let's use this nice plastic bag to represent your stomach and you've eaten a nice peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch. So you chew it, you swallow it, and the sandwich ends up inside your stomach. Let's also assume that you had a nice glass of milk with your sandwich. That would go into your stomach as well. And what happens inside your stomach is a lot like a food processor. Your stomach has strong muscles and also has a lining that can excrete some acid into the stomach and your stomach just grinds the food. Once the stomach gets through grinding up your food and turning it into chyme, a valve opens at the bottom of the stomach and all of the slurry goes into this, your small intestine. Now the small intestine is huge. You can see this rope is about 20 feet long and that's about how long the small intestine of an adult is. It needs to be that long because its job is to absorb all the molecules out of the food into your bloodstream and that takes a little time. Let's look at what all those different food molecules are. Food contains sugar molecules, also known as carbohydrates. Bread and jelly both contain a lot of sugar molecules. Food also contains protein molecules. Protein is found in peanut butter. There's also fat molecules in the peanut butter and the bread. And then there's vitamins and minerals. Your small intestine absorbs all these molecules and puts them into your bloodstream. Once the small intestine gets done absorbing, its end hooks into the large intestine and the large intestine acts like the body's trash compactor. It takes whatever's left and it compacts it and compresses it, sucks all the water out of it, and it also adds trillions of bacteria. There's actually trillions of bacteria cells living inside your large intestine. Now there is one fun fact about the large intestine that we should mention while we're here talking about it. And that is the fact that these trillions of bacteria cells often produce gas. That gas builds up and it comes out the back as a fart. Now you've always wondered where farts come from. They come from the trillions of bacteria that live in your large intestine. So let's review. You've got your throat connecting to your stomach. The stomach acts like a big food processor. It grinds up all your food and turns it into a slurry that's called chyme. Then it goes into the small intestine. This is a 20 foot long tube that absorbs all the food molecules and everything you ate. And then out of the small intestine it goes into the large intestine which acts like a trash compactor. Compacts it, sucks the water out, adds a whole bunch of bacteria that help eat whatever's left and then finally it comes out the back as poop.
Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, is there a cool experiment that I could perform with my digestive system? And in fact, there is. That's where this nice can of corn comes in. You can take a can of corn or maybe a box of frozen corn or some corn on the cob and eat it. And it's going to take some amount of time for that corn to flow through the 30 feet of plumbing that is your digestive system. As it flows through, you can time it. For some people it'll take just a couple of hours. For some people it'll take a couple of days. But you can learn a lot about how long it takes inside your body just by letting it flow through the whole process. So give it a try. Eat some corn. See how long it takes for it to come out. Have fun performing your own science experiments.